744 now. It is time for Fox Family and Health and something that myself and many other parents probably hardly ever, if ever, think about. Juvenile arthritis. We have a trio of ladies here to tell us about that this morning. Twins here, Michaela and Mackenzie Soriano, and their mother, Vanessa, is here with us. Yeah. Nice to see you. Hi, nice to see ladies you well. are seeing themselves on, on TV here. And let's, uh, let's differentiate here. Michaela is closest okay. to you, right? Yes. And Mackenzie is over there. Now, they're identical twins, but Michaela is dealing with something that Mackenzie is not, right? Yes. Tell us about that. Uh, Michaela was diagnosed with juvenile arthritis when she was a year and a half old. We noticed that um, she had swelling to her left ankle and her left ring finger. We brought her into her pediatrician, and um, she gave us first forewarning that she may have juvenile arthritis. Like mm. our pediatrician just told us this is uh, rare for a child to have swelling for so long and so persistent. So then we went to, um, we actually saw two orthopedic doctors because mm -hmm. the first one diagnosed her with a fractured ankle, but she still um, wasn't healing and it was months. And so we just felt as parents that we needed to continue with our search to figure out what was really going on. And um, it was soon after we saw the second pediatrician that, um, excuse me, orthopedic doctor mm -hmm. that he diagnosed her. He was like, well, she needs to see rheumatology. Oh. So we went to a rheumatology and um, that's when we were diagnosed with juvenile arthritis, which is an autoimmune disease. Right. Her Basically her body sees her normal cells as foreign mm -hmm. and tries to destroy them. Yeah. So, um, so that's what happens and that's why she had the swelling to her ankle. Right. For some reason her body is attacking yeah. itself. And um, she went to a, a running, and laughing and playing 18 you know month old I can see that. To, yeah. um, not being able to walk well, or yeah. run and beginning to crawl again you know bring her to the park we'd have to pick her up on the slides and catch her at the bottom mm. because she became immobile she just wouldn't move or walk because of the pain that she was in but she strolled right in here this morning and, yes. and got on the chair and everything looks about as normal as you would expect yes and that's what we're that's what we're hoping yeah. for and this has been um, a four-year battle and during wow. that four years <clears throat> she's been on um, chemotherapy mm and um, pain medication. And through that, we've been able to um, minimize the swelling and to get her back on track to where she needs to be. I love it. All right, Michaela, what does your shirt say? Do you know what that's? Who made that, who made that shirt for you? It says, Marching for Michaela. Who made that? Did you make that shirt? Mm -hmm. Who made it? No. Mm, your grandma? Your grandma. Yeah. 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 Mackenzie, can you tell me a little bit about your sister right now? Tell, tell me, what is your sister like? Is she fun to play with? and She's a lot of fun, right? <laughs> Especially when there's live TV cameras rolling. It's always fun, right? <laughs> Let's talk about the, the, the walk here and the run coming up in December. It might seem yes. like a few weeks away, but it's nice to plan that, and I would imagine you guys are going to yeah. be out there. Yes, uh, definitely. It is the, um, the Jingle Bell Run, and Kayla is the hero of that. And um, it's going to be December 15th at Brackenridge <laughs> Park, extending to the uh, River Walk, the Mission Reach section. There it is right there. It's yes. called the, what is it, the Jingle Bell? The Bells. Jingle Bell. Yeah, 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 Jingle Bell Run. It's a fun, festive event. Um, we have a live band. We have, um, there's going to be um, a kids booth, right. um, there's information booths, health booths out, um, there'll be face painters, the event is free to go to, yeah. um, you just have to register to either walk or run, and um, it's a really great um, festive event. You'll hear the jingle bells, everybody straps jingle bells on, and you'll even That'll see, be fun. Um, you'll see uh, people dressed up as elves or Santa yeah. Claus running, and it's very fun. It's, an, it's a great cause for as well. Right before Christmas, too, so that will be a lot of fun. And yes. then, again, the, the ladies will be out there. Well, I'm glad to see that you're doing so well, Michaela and Mackenzie, too. Thank you for coming in and for showing us your shirts today and for having some fun with us, okay? You got to go to school now? Yeah, okay. I'm boring them, obviously, so we better just stop we while I'm ahead here. have to go to school now. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Good luck yeah, to you. Yeah, they go buy a dog McStuffin toy now. Dog McStuffins. <laughs> I've heard of dog McStuffins. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, we'll see you uh, later on, and thank you again for joining yes, us. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay. It is 749 now, and we're going to come back. Sean is going to talk about the forecast. So, yes, I know. It's very exciting. Uh, he's going to talk about a cold front that he's tracking, too. We'll find out what kind of changes we have in store, and we'll try to get something of excitement for these ladies here, because I'm boring them to death. We'll be back after the break. I'll do better next time, girls. I'm sorry. <laughs>